So, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Tay, and today we're about to go over some items that I've had for a long time and I regret buying. This is all of my inventory that I've had since I've been here, and I also have some inventory in there that we will check out here in a little bit. And you know me, I always talk about on my channel how I like to make quick sales, I like to buy an item, check comps, and get that item sold quickly. But the reality of the matter is just because you buy an item and everybody else is selling it quickly that does not mean you're going to sell that item quickly either i just always like to talk about checking comps because that gives you an idea if that item can sell quickly for you so with all that being said every item that we're going to go over i definitely searched the comps when i bought the item and it's still sitting on my shelf like it's been sitting here for at least seven months or so which to me i don't like and it's almost that time where i go over all my inventory and we re-donate some items that i found and we'll give away some items and i might even do like a youtube auction or something like that as well this is how i get rid of some of my inventory too so with all that being said yeah your boy i made some mistakes i don't know exactly mis the mistakes that i've made yet we're gonna go through the inventory and find out but i'm, I'm intrigued to see which which items have i had for a long time so without further ado let's go ahead and go through some of my inventory and see exactly the mistakes I've made. We have inventory in multiple spots. I have a bunch of board games in here and then inside of the bathroom cabinet we have like our makeup and items that's supposed to be in a bathroom pretty much. So if it's sold I know oh okay well this is makeup I know it's in the makeup area or this is a toiletry I know it's in the toiletry area and then board games I know it's over here. But yada 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 y'all don't care where all my inventory is. We're here to see exactly the mistakes that I've made. So in here off top the very first thing that I see that I purchased is this Canon scan. I bought this item for, I wanna say it was like six or seven bucks. I bought this item on my road trip with Commonwealth picker Kevin actually. And when I purchased it, he was like, yeah, let me know if that item ever sells. And it's been a good solid year almost and it has not sold yet. I guess Kevin can talk junk. He never got it and I got it and I still haven't sold it yet either. But I've been trying to sell it for like around 40 bucks. I may drop the price on it and hopefully in a sale for what I made my money back on it at least. I'm just gonna probably just drop the price extremely to what I paid for it around 15 bucks and see if I can get it sold that way. So we shall see. And speaking of items that I found with Kevin, this is another item, this Texas Hold'em poker that I found with Kevin. Kevin is clearly bad luck because this is another item that I got with Kevin and it did not sell. And the only reason I bought this because this was dirt cheap. I think I got this for like two bucks. So I'm surprised it hasn't sold. I must be trying to sell it for like $35 or something. I know I can get at least 20 bucks for it. So I'm gonna make sure I check my prices on this and lower the price, but it's been sitting here for a hot minute. So as you can see, like my board games, you know, some board games I buy double of. That means I've sold one before, but these have just been sitting. So hopefully I will just lower the price on some of these board games. I do expect some board games to sit for a while, some to go. And then we're gonna have these Zumba Fitness barbells that I found. I know I found one of them almost like a year ago on like the 127 estate sales. And I found another one at Goodwill, I believe, around the same time. I've seen a bunch more of these Zumba fitness things in Goodwill and Salvation Armies. I just leave them all behind because these have not sold yet. And if they sold, then I might have picked them up, but it hasn't sold. So therefore I will never buy this item again, probably. We do have other items that have been in here for around a year or so, but I do not regret buying. Like this Monopoly game, this is a Monopoly cards game. This has been in here for probably longer than a year. I brought this with me from South Carolina, actually. I just have it selling for a lot. I think I'm trying to get like 40 bucks for it, and other people are only trying to get like 20 something dollars, but this is gonna be a collectible one day in the long run. I want $35, I'm not gonna lower my price at all. Don't ask me why the Canon thing is in here with the board games, but it is, and let's put it back. And then down here, we have a few items that I did buy. Um, nothing I'm not gonna say that I regret buying, but some items that just haven't sold for me in a long time, like these hair removal creams. These used to sell for me all the time, but I haven't sold one in months, to be honest. These floor stores, I would say I regret buying, but when I was making this video, I sold two packs. So I can officially say I'm happy that I did buy these for $5, I bought this whole bag for $5 and two boxes sold for 32. So I definitely made my money back in these floor stores. Thank God, I finally sold some. And that's just the nature of the business. Sometimes you're gonna find items and they're gonna sell and sometimes you're gonna have a really good item that you think is gonna sell and it's just not gonna sell. I mean, 
that happens a lot. But the most important part for me, what I've realized is always make sure that you find at least one item out of all the items that you purchase that's gonna pay for everything. So if I buy 10 items, one item is gonna pay for all 10 of those items. And then once the item sell, I'm in profit. So regardless of what happens after that, I'm good. I literally started my business with $30. I'm in profit ever since then. Like I haven't lost $30 yet. So I've done nothing but add on to that $30. Like I, there's no way I can go into the negative. Like if I don't sell another item, there's no way I can go in the negative. I've made $30 a bunch of times already. Like even if you look at a lot of the stuff right here that we have, this is just, a lot of this is stuff is not even listed. This is just excess stuff that I find while I'm out thrifting. And if it's a good deal, you know, we get it. So you can even count this as partial profit too. Because the only thing that you're doing with money is going and buying stuff that you need. So in essence, if I can buy a product and trade that product for another product that I need, that's kind of, money right so that's all we use money is to bargain money is just literally what we make it and my money is inventory and finding items that we will use eventually one day i don't know if you can see me good probably not but this is where i keep all my dvds games and stuff like this or most of them at least a lot of electronics in here and a lot of this stuff has been sitting for a while like this intel camera this intel pc camera i don't even know why i bought this camera this thing only cost like three or four bucks when i bought it but it's old like nobody's gonna buy it no time soon it's been sitting in here for a hot minute probably not the full seven to eight months but it's been here for about five months and i'm mad that i bought it these are a bunch of video cameras that I did purchase. I've only sold a few of them. Um, I've given a bunch of them away. Actually, I haven't done a giveaway in a long time. So if you're watching this video right now and if you wanna win this USB video camera, all you have to do is type in the comment section, I want the camera, that's it. And if you want the video camera, I will send that camera to you once I choose a winner, but make sure that you hashtag prison to profit giveaway before you can be officially entered. So if you hashtag prison to profit giveaway and say that you want the USB camera, I will pick a winner and get it sent to them. So that's what these cameras have really been for. A lot of giveaways and I've only sold a few. I've sold a few at a yard sale as well too. Um, these presidential cups, I am surprised they are still here. Oh, see there, I paid $1.99 for them. I'm trying to sell them for like around $20 a piece. I had one offer on these before for like around 12 bucks, but I declined the offer. Um, I thought they were pretty neat. So if I thought they were neat, then somebody else might eventually think they're pretty neat too. This item is not even listed, this fire stick. Do not ask me why I bought this item because a lady said her husband had passed away and he purchased this item and they never even used it because he passed away before he could. And I felt sad. Um, I gave her 15 bucks for it. Instead of the 20, she went ahead and let me have it for 15 bucks. Um, I can probably resell this, but I just, I kept it. I thought maybe I'll use the fire stick one day because you know how everybody wanted a fire stick at one point, but I don't know. Um, I may end up selling it. It's just been in here unlisted forever. Don't know why. Don't ask me, but yeah, that's why that's item sitting in here. And then obviously we have a bunch of video games. Some of these games have been sitting here a long time. Some of these games have not. I'm not about to go through all of the video games because I really don't regret in buying any video game. If I bought a video game, I got it for a good deal. So definitely do not regret buying any of the video games. There definitely are a lot of electronics and things that I do regret buying. One immediately that stands out is gonna be the space maker. This is supposed to be a cassette player for, I guess you like you attach it to the bottom of your oven or your microwave or something right there this thing only cost like four or five bucks and then i saw one that sold for like 40 and that's why i got it at the time i knew this thing would be like a long 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 haul but i kind of regret buying it just because it's big spacious and i really don't like it and i want it to go away right now you have these toilet valves that i bought last year at some point in time you may have seen me buy these in the habitat for humanity videos and i only paid two dollars for it but again it's just an item that yep paid two dollars because i still have the tag on one of them so yeah so we paid two dollars for it it's just an item that's just going to be sitting here for a while and i don't even know why i bought them i'm only going to make like a eight dollar profit or so but that's in the days when eight dollar profits really didn't bug me at all which they really don't bug me still to this day it's just that this item's been sitting here for a long time and i want it to go then we go down here to some other items that i bought do i regret buying any of these items no, i'm not gonna say i regret buying any of these items some of these items were free some of these items are all part of a fill a bag day so most of the stuff down here i'm not going to say we regret buying at all I know this is totally unrelated, but something that I regret also buying is large flat rate boxes. I really don't ever really use the large flat rate box. It's rare that I use a large flat rate box. And if you ever use a large flat rate box, you probably could put it in another box and send it UPS for much cheaper. I'm talking about much, much cheaper. 
So yeah, larger rate flat boxes. Really don't use those either. And some of these items that we have up here in the rack, like for example, we have this baby caboose kid seat. I thought this was the actual kid seat. I didn't know you had to put a chair on top of the caboose for legs like i had no idea what this actually was so i'm mad i bought it like who would want that now that i think about it even though i bought it for five bucks and it's only selling for like 35 bucks i don't see nobody ever ever purchasing it for me so i don't know this might be here forever to be honest and then this is just another item that i bought these are actually baby diaper bags diaper bags i thought it was actually the diaper pail instead of the diaper bag but these are diaper bags maybe somebody will buy them from me maybe not and i think these are the generic version baby feels i'm not sure but yeah nobody has even looked at my item yet we do have the board some more board games that i do keep up here this rumor cube i haven't had them for a long time but i am already on the verge of regret buying them just because there were so many in the store and even in the video when i purchased them i was like you know what there's so many in the store i'm only gonna buy two luckily i only bought two because they're both still here and it's been about three months so that's a good thing i only bought two instead of the 20 that i wanted to buy but luckily you know your boy has already made profit from that haul the goal is always make profit from all the hauls plates i got into a bunch of plates and stuff this year which is really good and they always sell like hot cakes you see i have a bunch of shoes down here i don't like shoes at all so i'm gonna say i regret buying some of these shoes even though i just bought a half of these shoes recently i don't think i have any that's been sitting here for a year besides maybe these nikes right here these nikes and i think these nikes as well they've almost touched a year not a whole year yet but almost it's been probably about six months or so for these items which is not even almost a year that's half a year literally half a year you see your boy we got the dirt devil you remember when i found the dirt devil at the goodwill and we've already sold one of them so that's definitely not a regret this zombiac this is a suit it's an actually a suit um i'm probably going to get it tailored i thought i can sell this thing on amazon i sent it to amazon it got sent back to me because I couldn't sell it, which I hate sometimes Amazon will let you send in items and then once it gets to the warehouse, they're like, oh, our bad, you can't sell this item and they'll send it back to you. That's what happened. And this is supposed to sell for like 50 bucks or something. I bought it for five and it was supposed to sell for 50. eBay, people aren't even looking at it really on eBay, but on Amazon, it had a good sales rank and now I'm kind of stuck with it and it's been about a good year. So who knows? Maybe I'm gonna, like I said, get it altered or something and wear it myself this year. And then we can check some of these pails to see if we regret anything, which I really don't think I regret toys too much. I do regret this plush because I really don't know much about plush and I just wanted to learn. So I grabbed it just in case it looked cool to me and I thought, she would actually sell because I saw one sell recently. And here goes another plush. Y'all remember me buying the Goofy plush for only a dollar? I did receive an offer on it now that I think about it and I declined it. Yeah, it is what it is, guys. Uh, all these bins are pretty much closed. Some more electronics and things like that. Don't want to lift it up too much. On the top, it looks like those ski sets. And I kind of regret buying those things. <laughs> but... I mean, I don't regret too many items, but again, it's like, mm. we're going to just take one last look at this bookshelf over here because all these books are on eBay as well. And I'm not going to really say I regret buying books because you never know. Half of these books came from like Philip Bag Day. Some books came in a lot of other books. Some books I did buy individually. Like there's a few of these just books right here. Like these came in a lot. They'll probably never sell. So do I regret buying them? I'm not going to say I regret buying them, but it's it's like, who's going to buy these books? Come on, who's going to buy this Gail Simmons book? And I think I only have it for like six or seven books. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Not too many regrettable items, but enough to be like, I wish I didn't buy it. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is, guys. Um, Not too bad. Not too bad, I guess. It can definitely be worse, right? Like, it could be worse. I could have, like, so much more inventory because if we talk about all the stuff that I bought this last year, like, this whole room would be full, probably. So, luckily, we've been making sales in the last year because if I didn't, I'd already have a job right now. I'm not even going to lie. I'd already be back at work already because, you know, your boy needs some bread. And uh, luckily, eBay does the job for now. But anyways, guys, that's it. Just want to let you know that I do have mistakes as well. I do buy items all the time that don't sell. And you've seen some of this stuff in past videos and it's still sitting on my shelves guys this stuff's still sitting on my shelves anyways guys that's it for this video just want to kind of like i said go over my inventory show you exactly what's going on and just be real with you because 
everything ain't sunny. Everything ain't always shiny. Everything ain't always good. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching the channel. Please hit that subscribe button if you're not currently subscribed. Smash that like button. But before you do any of that, make sure that you bless somebody today because I promise you I'm going to bless somebody tomorrow. At this point in time, your boy Tay, I'm out.